welcome to the Bold Talk by Joe podcast, coming straight to you from the Valley of the Sun, Phoenix, Arizona, your society and culture podcast. And now, let's welcome your host, Joe. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Hopefully, everybody's doing great. Today, I want to talk about a journey of self-discovery. Let's talk about embracing solitude. I think that's uh, very important. A lot of people see that as a bad thing, but I don't I don't think so. I don't think solitude is a bad thing. In a world that's constantly connected, finding solitude can be a rare gift. But today, I'm going to explore the power of solitude and how it can help us unlock our true potential. So grab yourself a beer, grab yourself some tea, and let's dive into the beauty of solitude. So solitude, often misunderstood as loneliness, is not about being isolated or disconnected. It's about consciously creating space for yourself to connect with your inner self. Away from external distractions and noise, it is is this fast-paced world where we are constantly bombarded with notifications and social media updates. Finding moments of solitude can be challenging. However, it is these moments that we truly get to know ourselves and discover what brings us joy and fulfillment. So, so why is solitude so important? Solitude gives us the opportunity to reflect on our thoughts and emotions without any external influence. It allows us to fully present in the moment and explore our desires, our passions, our dreams. In the silence of solitude, we can listen to our inner voice, the one often drowned out by the chaos of a daily life. It's in these moments of stillness that we can gain clarity and make decisions aligned with our authentic selves. So so now let's talk about practical ways to embrace solitude in our lives. First and foremost, creating dedicated time for solitude is essential. It can be as, as simple as taking a walk in nature, meditating or journaling, podcasting, Find activities that allow you to disconnect from the outside world and tune into your inner world. Use this time to reflect on your goals and values and the direction you want to you want your life to take. Solitude is a sanctuary where we can nurture our passions and nurture our souls. Another way to embrace solitude is by embracing the joy of being alone. Society often puts pressure on us to constantly be surrounded by people and engaged in social activities. However, being alone can be a a beautiful experience, right? It's an opportunity to fully immerse ourselves in our own thoughts and activities. Take yourself on a solo date to a museum or enjoy a meal at a cozy cafe or go for a walk. Dive into a book that has been waiting on you on your shelf. Embrace the freedom of your own company and allow it to inspire and rejuvenate you. I know uh, Will from the Thing About Us podcast, he, he embraces solitude. He likes solitude. He wants to sit back and uh, get a book and read it and just be alone, right? And gather his thoughts. It's a, it's a real good thing. Remember that solitude doesn't mean cutting off social connections, It's about finding a balance between social interaction and personal solitude. Engaging in meaningful conversations and building relationships are essential aspects of our lives, right? We're human. However, it's equally important to carve out time for solitude as it nourishes our individuality and self-awareness. I encourage you to explore the power of solitude in your own life. Embrace those moments of stillness and create space for self-reflection. Find solace in your own company and let it guide you on a journey of self-discovery. Remember, it is in the quiet moments that we often find the answers we seek. That is so true. You know, because as I say these words, 
I think about uh, whenever I need to find some answers and whenever I, I need to uh, gather my thoughts, I I just start thinking about things. And I usually find them when it's quiet, when I don't have anything else going around me, when there's the phone is either dead because I haven't charged it or I just turned it off or I just put it on do not disturb. And I think about, I, would st- I just start thinking about different things, right? What What should I do? What's next? And you start gathering your thoughts and putting them together without any distractions, right? And it's good. It's good for everybody to have that solitude once in a while, you know, to grab yourself a book and, you know, for instance, myself, grab myself a book, some whiskey, a cigar, sit outside, uh, watch the kids play or turn the TV on outside, read a book. And even though there's people around me, there's kids around me or there's stuff going around me, I am in a space of solitude. That is, that's how I do it. I might just sit there and smoke my cigar, read a book, and just look out, gather my thoughts, look at everything, think about stuff that that I've been trying to solve or things that I'm trying to, the goals that I'm trying to accomplish, right? And there's a lot of people that just can't seem to gather themselves because they don't have a moment to themselves. They're constantly on the go. They're constantly just you know, 120% all the time. And even even then, you have to find a way to to slow down, right? Slow down and and think about the things that you're doing. Think about what's next. So I found, I find embracing solitude, um, it's great, right? It's, uh, like I said, it's a journey of self-discovery. You get to know more about yourself, when you're in peace, when you're in solitude. And it also inspires you to do different things, right? It gives you that inspiration. It gives you that focus where you need it the most. Uh, When you're trying to think of things and it's rowdy and crazy and all this stuff and you're inside a cafe or something and it's hard to think about stuff and everybody's different. For instance, I can, like I said earlier, I can sit outside while the kids play or my daughter plays or whatever, and she's out there doing her thing, and I'm just by myself, just reading or doing whatever, or just sitting down, smoking a cigar, looking out, and just looking at the trees or doing whatever, and that's my moment of solitude. It's uh, it's a lot easier, yes, when there's no one around, but when you're when you have a family, you know, it's uh, it's it's difficult sometimes. So you have to find. You have to find that was weird. That was a uh, interruption there by offer up. I don't know why I still have that app. Anyways, but that's what I mean. See, like if you're if you find these moments and there's distractions, you know, you can your whole train of thought can can change. And I use podcasting also too as a form of solitude for myself. I get to think of things. I get to. Uh, listen to my recordings and and realize: Am I saying the right things? Am I doing the right thing? What should I talk about? And I gather my thoughts, put them together, and I try to come up with something, right? Something that I can talk about, something interesting, something that maybe can help people. Um, I know some shows are a little different, right? That's why there's tons of podcasts out there that you can listen to, depending on what you like. It's like music. You know, it's like music, just depending on what you're feeling like is the kind of podcast that you want to listen to, right? I feel like something rowdy and crazy, I tune to one. If I feel for some words of advice and encouragement, I turn into like Big Brother advice and, you know, stuff, thing, you know, podcasts like that. There's different, different podcasts out there. I, I look at podcasting like music, but for me, myself, when I podcast, I I think of a moment of solitude. And even though I'm... I'm in front of a screen and I'm talking into a microphone. To me, it's quiet time. To me, it's relaxing time. And and this is how I also relax, right? Is uh, this moments by myself. Usually when you have a guest, you don't relax, right? You're you're constantly talking and and you know, you're just you're just going back and forth and this and that. And uh when you're doing a solo podcast, 
it's uh, it's time for you, right? Time for yourself, time to, especially if you have a podcast where you talk about your own life, if you have a podcast where uh, where you you have to gather your thoughts, you have to figure out what you're about to say, right? And um, also, you know, bring back memories and all this stuff. So solitude is, 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 uh, is, is very important for your health also. And I think that people should, people should practice, you know, should practice it uh, once in a while. You know, solitude also allows you to recharge and rejuvenate. Like I said, in, in, a, in our busy lives, we often find ourselves constantly surrounded by people and bombarded with external stimuli. This constant engagement can lead to mental and emotional exhaustion, resulting in stress and getting burnt out. Taking regular moments, like I talked about, of solitude gives our minds a chance to, to relax and recover and regain balance. It's, it's your opportunity to step away from demands of the outside world and focus on your self-care, which is very, very important. When we're alone, free from distractions, we can explore our thoughts and emotions more deeply. This, this self-awareness helps us identify and process any negative or overwhelming feelings we might be experiencing by acknowledging and understanding our emotions, we can develop healthy coping mechanisms and prevent them from negatively impacting our mental and emotional health, especially when you're super stressed out, when your job is very stressful, when you're just having a, a very tough day. Sometimes when I would have a really hard day, for instance, at work, when it's mentally draining and you're trying to figure things out, right? Um Usually in the way to work, I turn my radio on. I listen. Well, I turn my 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 uh, my radio on. Yes, I put it on Bluetooth and I listen to podcasts. But uh, on the way back home, when I'm just, it's just a lot of stuff in my mind, and I'm just like, okay, I need to not listen to anything, and I just drive home with everything off. I'm not on the phone. And the radio's off. Everything's off, and I just drive home and I just self reflect. I just self. I just have a moment to myself on the way home. Solitude also promotes creativity and productivity, 100%. That's, that was what I was saying that, you know, it, it's part of podcasting. When we have an uninterrupted time for ourselves, our minds can wonder and explore new ideas. And we sometimes think outside the box. It allows us to tap into our inner creativity and also the problem-solving abilities like many great artists and writers and inventors that have uh, attributed to their breakthroughs to, to moments of solitude where they can fully immerse themselves in their work without external distractions. Just kind of like, uh, for instance, if anybody has seen the, the movie The Secret Window, right? This guy moves out to the middle of nowhere. This is with Johnny Depp, even though it's a crazy movie. But usually writers and stuff like that, they live out in the middle of nowhere, Right, they live in the forest. They live secluded away because they are they are finding the solitude so they can write their book. Because writing a book, um, making a story, you need that time of solitude so you can gather your information and and actually be able to to type it in and make it into a story. Right, so you need that solitude in order in order to. Uh, to write a book or anything like that, or write a song or anything like that. So, you know, without having external distractions. Solitude also provides the op opportunity for, like I said, self-care and personal growth. So then engaging in activities we enjoy and taking care of our physical and mental well-being is, is crucial for, for health. Solitude allows us to focus on these activities without pressure and external obligation or the need to cater to others' needs, whether it's practicing mindfulness, exercising, reading, like I said earlier, pursuing a, a hobby. Solitude offers a space to prioritize self-care and nurture our personal growth. Solitude can also, if you think about this, can also enhance our relationships with others. 
Spending time alone allows us to cultivate deeper understanding of ourselves and our values and also our boundaries. This self-awareness positively impacts our interactions with others as we communicate our needs and desires more effectively. Solitude also fosters independence and self-sufficiency, enabling us to build healthier and, and more fulfilling relationships based on mutual respect and, and understanding. It's important to remember that solitude is not about isolation, okay? It's not about isolation or cutting off social connect, connections. It's just about finding a healthy balance between solitude and social interaction. So when you incorporate regular moments of solitude into your lives, it can significantly improve your overall health and your well-being. So embrace the power of solitude and prioritize self-care for a healthier and, and more fulfilling life. So I think that that's the importance of solitude for health and well-being, right? And um, a lot of people should practice it because there's a lot of us that are, are super busy. Like I said, I'm, I'm super busy, especially now with this position that I have at work. And it requires me to have some solitude on the way home. And that way I don't bring it with me for when I get home. I'm not fully stressed and I'm like going off and like this is what happened today and this blah, blah, blah. That way I can have those moments before I get home to where my wife can ask me questions and I'm not all worked up about what's something that happened at work or anything like that. So I do I do practice uh, solitude a lot. Um, I know for some people it's it's very hard to practice that, right? They they feel like they, they get bored if they're alone and uh, they, they're just like, they just want to go to sleep because it's like, oh, I'm just alone. There's nothing. I'm, you know, it's, I'm, I just feel like I want to go to bed. And you have to think about it differently. You have to think about it as a time for yourself, right? A time to rest your brain, a time to rest. And, and uh, like I've been saying, gather your thoughts and, and figure out and figure out things that you can't when there's a bunch of shit going on around you. So hopefully you all practice some solitude. And I hope this episode has shed light on the significance of solitude and maintaining a healthy and balanced life. My show is not always chaotic and crazy. Sometimes I like to have shows like this, episodes like this, where uh, it's the stuff that I was thinking about, right? I was thinking about uh, what should I talk about in my next episode, and I was thinking about solitude, right? It's like I heard Will say that on one of his shows, and also uh, we were talking, uh, we have a group that we... We sit there. We we sit there and we text message each other and stuff like that. And uh, he he made a comment about I just I just want to be in peace and grab a book and read it. That's 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 what I want to do. And uh, that's very important, right? Because when you have a lot of stuff in your mind, you have a lot of stuff, a lot of stress, a lot of things going on. Uh, that's when you uh, go back into solitude mode, right? And and try to sit there and. And think about, okay, what what's happening with a better and clearer mind. So hopefully this episode, like I said, uh, has helped. Is, hopefully this episode can help people, uh, especially if you're like on the go. And hopefully once you listen to this, you're like, oh, man, I do really need to practice some solitude at least for, you know, 30 minutes or at least an hour a week or something, right? Somewhere where you can just just stop and relax, turn your music off, turn everything off, and just sit there and 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 relax. Like I said, sometimes I don't have those moments, so I try to have my moment of solitude when there's stuff going on. It's always better if you practice solitude when you're just alone, right? But sometimes it's impossible, so you have to have that mental focus where. You can have things happening that are not super loud and distracting, but you can still you can still be able to do things with your family, but at the same time you can sit on the corner and just kind of look, just kind of look and, and 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 think about stuff and uh, enjoy the scenery and 
Um, I do that all the time. Like I said, I do that all the time when we, when we go to the beach and my family's running in the beach or anything like that, and I'm just sitting down by the sand. I take a moment of solitude, even though there's kids screaming around or people laughing. I I focus on myself and I take the moment of solitude there by the sand, sitting down, looking at the ocean, and uh, I think about things. I think about problems to solve. I think about myself, about what I need to work on for myself and all those things, right? Uh, how to be a better person and and all those kinds kinds of things, right? So, you know, practice that a little bit more. Hopefully, it works for you. Until next time, peace. Thanks for checking out Bold Talk by Joe Podcast. We want to thank all our listeners and supporters around the world. You can listen to the show on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube Podcasts. And don't forget to subscribe. You can follow us on Twitter at Bold Talk by Joe and on Instagram at Bold Talk by Joe. 